happens here when there's a, a storm out in the water? Nothing happens when you this Nothing happens. Yeah. Well, all the time, they probably uh, uh, during the storm, storm uh, people go uh, uh, outside the uh, do think that the house can fall, that there probably will be high rise of water, but nothing else. Uh -huh. Everything's okay. But just that, uh, the storm just shake the houses. Uh -huh. uh -huh. But here it's protected. Right, the lagoon here, so that the high winds don't really affect here as much. Sometimes, really, you, sometimes it affects, but uh, the storm that uh, really feel the What is the worst that has happened here? Like the storm that you have seen, like big waves, like I think nothing like that have ever happened before. It's only during, does it last year, last few years, when they stop the, the, the heavy rain all over Lagos that destroy a lot of things in Lagos. Yeah. It the destroy a few houses, like 10 or 5 houses in the community. Yeah, yeah there was some flooding. Yeah. One that nobody will come to, the Nigeria Free Society, every time they come to the community, they are highly welcome. My name is Shemi Lenoir. And uh, the ship is there around, or probably I'm, I'm the one that might represent the ship to uh, talk on behalf of the ship, or whatever it comes. And uh, this is the community where people base on water, we have the activities, everything in the community based on water. And living on water is part of our, is part of our culture. And uh, the strength of the community is fishing. And uh, the, community, the community have been existing for more than 100 years ago. And, the, and the, the population of the community is more than 100,000 people living in Makipo water here. It's a very large community. Uh -huh. And uh, we have been blessed with, with, with one school called Wine and Ozium Primary School, which, which I'm the director and coordinator of the school. And probably, uh, I think very soon now, we will go around for talk. After we come back, we will go to the school and to say hello to, say hello to the children. For go back, but first of all, we go around the community for talk, to see things, how things are in the community, and uh, uh, people there based uh, on fishing. On the, they, they will, the men will go out to not to, to fish. Why they are why they take it to the market to sell? They not sell it fresh or sell it. Uh, they smoke it for the sale. That's how they do. It. And then the other business they do in the community is mobile market. You might see people hawking, uh, selling goods of wood, selling cold drink, selling tea, selling a pot, or selling uh, pots, shoes, and boots. Those are, those are the mobile markets of water. <laughs> that is, <laughs> I like that. I know. Do you sell the fish then? You go to like Lagos Market or you go to the mainland? Where you, like, where thousands, you thousands of our women go to the mainland to the Lagos Market to sell. Okay. Okay. Some fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And do they just go every day and come back? Or do you have people? They go, they go every day and come back. They go, they go every day and come back. Okay. okay. Wow. And do you feel that people give you, you know, you it's worth it. You get a good price for selling things outside. No, you know, you know it's market price. Sometimes it falls, sometimes it rises. Mm. And it depends off your demand. Demand, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what kinds of fish is it? Do you have here? We have different fish in the community. We have different fish. We have freshwater fish. Yeah. We have uh, uh, shrimps, crabs, atlatia fish, and so on. Yeah. We have a lot of fish. In the problem, we have each fish have, has its own season. We have a season of atlatia fish. Right now, we are in the season of atlatia fish. Oh, tilapia. Tilapia okay. fish. Okay. And, uh, How far out do the fishmen go? They go after, uh, uh, after the Tolbiana Bridge. The mainland, the, the mainland yeah. bridge. Okay, just the after, bridge. Yeah, after the Tolbiana Bridge. Why we also put that base on ocean? They don't go to the ocean every day to go fish. We have people from here. If you see their boats, their boats will have, have to be like a V-ship. Mm -hmm. so, those who go to the ocean every day, to fish and come back every day. Thousands of them go, go to the ocean every day. Wow. Why thousands of men go to the lagoon? And every how day. many fish they caught every day? How many kilo? Mm, they don't. That depends, they, of course, but. Yeah, 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 they don't make it a kilo in the community. The fish they caught, they will give it to the market, to their wife to go and sell. They don't 
sell it to their wife. The wife will sell it and bring the money for the for the income of the family, for both parents and for the children. Mm -hmm. That's how they do it. They do it. Sometimes they might go, they won't catch any fish. They might catch small. Sometimes they might go and catch plenty of fish. Depend on the season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they just use nets. They go just out. Like some, some, some people make use of throwing nets. Some people make use of hook. Mm -hmm. Why some people make use of setting nets? Why some people that do that do catch crab? They have their own system of catching crabs. They will set the strap. You like strap. They have thousands of double strap in their in their boats. They will throw inside water. It's like a round trap that you, you have nets under it. Yeah. They will they will use rats, cut rat meat and put rat meat there. Oh, and wow. they, they will tie the rat meat for the on the net. If crab sees crab will be holding it, holding it, they will just draw a rope like it. They will catch the crab. Okay. Wow. They, they have system, they have system yeah. of catching crab. Wow. Why they have uh, different system of catching shrimps and crayfish? They have their various various system. So, just now on our way here, we saw a lot of wood logs, you know, floating on the uh, water. What, what are they actually? Okay, those logs of, those logs of wood are being poured from very distant to the summit. We have a summit here. Summit is where they will cut all those logs, logs of wood to different sizes. All this now we are seeing are made of, are, are made from that log of wood. How far away? Is the, is, the, is the forest where they cut the logs to bring it down? It's very far, from on those things. So you mean that is like a storage for you all to build all this? Yes. That, that the floating logs yes. are the storage? Yes. No. Those floating logs, they will take you to the summit. The summit is very close here, they call it Yokubaba. They call it Yokubaba. The summit is very close here, they take the summit. They will make use of the saw to Cut into different sea sizes, you will bring the shape like this. Those benches are sheep. Yeah. All these great benches and this are made of wood. Those are of, of wood. People, people that are into construction come from different companies to go and buy wood from the Sunday. Very soon now, the next two or three weeks now, you won't see any number of wood there again. They, they have to have more because they, they have tore everything to the jet to the jet and the family. Make use of it. People are buying the wood every day. We hear how we build a house. All, all, all the material we use for our house are made from that lot of wood. We didn't go to summit to buy every day. Uh, the people in this in uh, Akoko, are they all from one tribe? Basically? No. A no. many tribe? No, we have three tribes. Tribe. All, three, all three are here. As three well. tribes, yeah. Uh, the one tribe is Egun. Egun are people from Badagri. In Lagos State, uh, flew from Ogun State, Nigeria, different part of Nigeria that joined together. They all speak the same language and they all fishermen. The people that live on water here, basically all, everybody is a fisherman. And uh, we have Ijos. Ijos as well, they are fishermen as well. And we have Ilajes. Those are the three tribes we have. We have Igun, Ijo, and Ilaje. Those, those are the three tribes that we have in mm -hmm. And those we try based on water. They do every, everything they do is on water. Mm -hmm. like, and how many people live here? Live on the community. Yeah. More than one thousand people. One hundred thousand? More than one thousand. More than one thousand. Okay. Mm -hmm. And is there an administration or something like that? How do you know there are more than one hundred thousand? Thank you. How uh, do you uh, know? The last things that they did in two thousand six. They did sense us in Nigeria. Not here, not here, not here. They did just to welcome you that you're welcome to our community. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. For me, uh, go please. You will be part of problems Thank arise you very much. in the community. The duty of the chief of the community is to make sure that there's peace. Peace reign in the community. That is the duty of the chief. And uh, any problem within the community, the chief is one that will handle it and set to it, make peace. That is the duty of the chief. Okay, and the chief is elected? Um, he's elected. 
and they probably but my own brother is not elected because my father was his first chief of the whole community. Okay. Uh, and uh, how many years uh, there are elections? Uh, my dad ruled for 36 years. Six years. 36 okay. years. 36 years. 36 years. 36 years. My dad ruled for, ter for, for 36 years. And I become very old. We lost him last year. He's one of the things. Before, during my dad administration, the population is so big as this. The population is very small. But right now, as the population has become very larger, wider, we now have like three different ballots, leaders, chiefs, oh. on water, three on water right now. Is it because of the three tribes? No, 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 no. the three tribes, one, it's because of the two tribes. And in our own tribe, even tribe, we carry, uh, we, uh, uh, we are like 82% uh, of the population we in our own tribe. But the two tribes, the main tribe, they are like 18%. The rest one. Those will have their own chief as well. Different. But in our own tribe, we have three chiefs on what I can really. But my brother is not elected. If my brother dies, I can become the chief. But the remaining two chiefs, they have been elected. They have to elect them. They have to come together, vote for them. Okay. Uh, within, within the community, community we have to choose them. But on our own tribe, in our own family, they can't, they can't choose who we choose ourselves because our father is the first leader of the whole community. Yeah. And so they have the other two leaders now because it's so large? The yeah, very, very large. So large. Wow. You speak very good English, you know, you, you seem to be like very educated. Like, do children from here go to like higher education? Do they go to university from here? Do you know what happened? What happened is it, uh, the children here, they really need education because our fathers, if they were able to see someone, people that were encouraging to have better education, we would be smiling at this stage. At this stage. I'm the fifth generation of the community. We would be smiling because they might, be, they will be in very good, good position over there. In the education, there can't be anything. That time, during that time, they all been on fishing. For example, now during that time, if I have wife and I probably have, I have child, I have his uh, daughter. My daughter will be following my wife to market, and if I have a son, uh, uh, give birth to a, a male child, my male child will probably be following me to fishing. We learn my occupation. That's what they are doing before. But right now, as everything has become wise, everybody in the world has become very wise. That people have to really arise. From there, I know how strong it is for me to be educated. My dad has 22 children. 22 children. I'm the last born of the family. And I'm the, I'm the lucky guy that I have opportunity to go to school. Out of 22. That is why I know how important education is for my community. That is why I volunteer my time and this to be teaching in the school. To call some of my colleagues from the community that come, this is our community. Let's help the children. These children have to stand for us in the future. They have to be the leader of tomorrow that will uh, fight for our community. Without education, we are not going nowhere. That's why I try to convince uh, my other colleagues that have been schooling in outside the community. Now, if you finish the secondary school, try to come and spend at least a year with us here. So, I'm going to